Hey, what's up everybody? Adobe Masters here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do the Star Wars transition. In honor of Rogue One coming out, I thought I'd make a nice little Star Wars video. So what is the Star Wars transition? Well, the Star Wars transition is this right here, just so right up in the top right there. Watch, see how it goes across with sort of a blurred wipe going from left to right, top to bottom, angle to angle. Star Wars does them all. So I'm going to be showing you how to do this one. So we're going to go ahead and delete this and start from back at the beginning here. So you might think that this would be best accomplished by going into Adobe's video transitions and then going down to white because that's what it is. And then I don't know, maybe applying a wipe like this. The problem is, is that Adobe doesn't give you a lot of control in this wipe. So you can control sort of the, the length of it and that's really about it. You cannot control the feather and so you get this really sharp line down the center and you don't want that for a Star Wars transition. Star Wars transitions have the feather on each of the sides. Um, so this just doesn't work. So this, you got to throw this out, delete that, and it's actually in video effects. So you go into video effects and you go into that transitions, which is weird that they have video transitions and then video effects transitions. But I don't know, I'm not the creator of Adobe. So you go down to transition here and then you take your footage. So the footage that starts with will be on top. You take the footage that you want it to transition to and you bring it down and sort of slide it under. And now you actually have a lot of control here. So you can you can slide it and transition it any way you want it from here. It's not going to do it for you, so you're actually gonna have to create a couple keyframes, but it's a really, really easy process. So we're gonna go down here and we're gonna use linear wipe. Uh, we can also use radio wipe, and I'll show you that one right after this. Star Wars does that one as well. So drag linear wipe, throw it on right here, and now it's going to apply up in the top left up here. So what you want to do is you just want to hit this transition completion, transition completion. So start at 0% and that means nothing has happened. Move to the point where you want it to be completed and move it on up to 100%. And then so now it looks exactly like that other one, but it has the key feature down here of feather and feathering anywhere from like, I don't know, maybe like 60 to 120 is kind of good for the Star Wars transition. So start there and then as you can see, just like that, you've created yourself a Star Wars transition. If you want to make things a little bit faster, bring the keyframes together. If you want to move around your footage, you can do that. It gives you a lot more freedom than just applying that other effect. You can also choose the wipe angle. So, you know, going by 45 degree angles, you'll kind of get it just moving across the screen. So let's say we drop down to 45 here and then now instead of going across, it's going to go from bottom left to top right. Um, instead of 90, we could go 135. And then it's going to go, yep, the other way like that. And yeah, you just work with the angles. You can get top to bottom, right to left, top left to bottom right, anything you want. You can go from here to here, like anything you want with this wipe angle here. So that's how you create basically most of the Star Wars transitions. Now they do utilize one other one, and that is the radio wipe. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to delete this linear wipe off of it and we're going to use the radio wipe. So we're going to drag radio wipe on there. And then, so what we're going to want to do is if you see right now, so if we go into here, we go, stop, oops, transition completeness, move over to the point where we want it to transition 100 and you'll see it's doing it at center. We don't want it to do it at center. Maybe we do. If you want that effect, that's great. So what it does is it's taken, it's just done some math. It's taken whatever your footage is here, 1080 by 920, and it just cut everything in half. And so it's found the exact center and then it radio wipes across there. However, we want it to sort of start at one end and then move across like we've seen in Star Wars sometimes. So we just click zero, zero, and that is gonna bring it right up into the top left up here. The graphs in computers usually work by zero, zero up here, is up here, and then you go in the positive this way and the positive that way. So now that we're at zero, zero, we can do the exact same thing, and you'll see that the transition is wiping across like a windshield wiper, and then just grab in your feather down here, and there we go. Now we have that simple little wipe effect. So yeah, that's basically it. You can manipulate all the little settings in here to get it exactly how you want. This is a great effect to, I don't know, bring a little bit of life to your piece. If you're trying to go for a serious tone in your footage though, this is probably not the best. It, it'll be, it'll come across cheesy is the best word for it. Um, so you have to really understand where you're trying to go with this effect. Star Wars has pulls it off, 
I don't know, I guess it's because there's a little bit more of a light tone sort of sci-fi movie. So theirs can really pull it off, and it's just become an icon of Star Wars. So now, no matter what they do, if you throw that transition in, it'll work for Star Wars. Your footage, though, kind of throw it around, see if it works, and then just experiment with it. Thanks, everyone, for joining me. If you want to see more Adobe-related content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And until next time, guys, see ya.